Now it goes without saying that I am a massive fan of the PXG brand. And I'm a fan for many different reasons. But mainly due to the fact they very much do things their own way. Carry. Oh, and it did. Now originally that was all down to the way the clubs looked. But now it's also about the way the clubs are priced. I also like the fact that as a brand you never quite know what they're going to do next in the marketplace, which keeps things exciting to say the least. And today is no different as we see the release, quite a surprise release in many ways, of a new range of 0211 woods. That is a driver, fairway woods and a new hybrid. Now as you've seen me play driver so far, then I played a 5 wood from the fairway, then I just played 3 wood off the tee. It only seems right that I should now play hybrid from the rough. It's a real interesting shape, a change in head design from previous models. And I'll talk about and show you that very soon. But first of all, Let's see if I can play a shot with it. Oh, that is a shot as well. Keep coming, ball. Keep coming. That's half decent. Now, so far, I have played just four shots with this new range of 0211. And I can tell you, there is one thing that is significantly different to any woods that I've hit so far from PXG. And I've got a feeling these will be very, very popular, but That's not a bad touch with a hybrid. In my opinion, they may cause PXG one big problem. That was a bit of a recap, or perhaps if you're not aware of the uh, PXG lineup, then the 0 to 11 range is, uh, well, it's their entry level in terms of its price point. It's become hugely competitive at that end of the market as well. And I would say it's the kind of lineup that has largely persuaded a lot of PXG sort of, I wouldn't call them haters, but very much against the original price point. This big change in the 0 to 11 range is, uh, well, it's changed people's opinions significantly. And now those people are actually singing the praises of this PXG brand. Right, five wood left to right is the plan. Uh, you know what, it's left to right, probably a bit too much, but we're coming in at a decent angle. Now in that 0 to 11 lineup, there's been some amazing products of release, but in particular for me, it's always been the irons that have been the standout product. The 0 to 11 irons, time after time, have produced a really good quality, hollow bodied iron at an amazing price. The drivers and the fairway woods, they've always been extremely good, but I've always think there's been compromises. But that I think is quite different in this current release, which I'll get to very shortly. But before we go any further, I think we just gotta have a look at these things and let me know what you think in terms of visuals, because again, I think these are pretty decent, you know. Well, do you know what? The ball is traveling. I've got no dry ball data. We'll look at that at a separate video, but this ball is going out there. There's no doubt about that. But just back to this looks for a second, because for me, I reckon arguably this is possibly the best lineup I've seen visually from PXG, to be honest with you. I love it in terms of shelf appeal. So what you see from the underneath, and it's very much a stripped back and very clean version of what they've done before, but it is just that matte black, some shiny chrome elements. But then you look at the crown again, and it's been stripped back. There's none of the white that we've seen in some previous models of the Gen 3, 4, and 5, uh, Gen 4 and 5 particular uh, crowns. And I think, again, this has been stripped back to a matte finish, very minimal in its markings. And it sits so neat behind the ball, particularly, again, when you go to those fairway woods they're very very shallow and I love that and they sit really tight and neat behind the ball so from a visual perspective I really do wonder if this is the best lineup I've seen from PXG so far Now, once again, for me, uh, driver is performing well. We've seen a few shots with that. That's the second hybrid I've hit of the day. Again, everything you'd expect from a hybrid, launch is high, uh, easy to play, that kind of thing, you know, so it's not doing anything different. There is a notable thing that is uh, different from previous PXG models, in particular, the 0211 lineup, that is the same with the driver, the hybrid, and I'm gonna say it's the same in the three wood and the five wood, and it's a big key for me. It's a big change up in what they've produced. But there is one other point that I've kept continued to make, and that is the difference between these new 
Auto 11 lineup and previous iterations from PXG in terms of their driver, fairway woods and hybrids. That difference is the sound. Now, I know at this point, a lot of you really don't care what anything sounds like. It's all about how it performs. But for me and for others out there, it's a key factor. And these are so different in terms of the way they sound, in my opinion. Particularly, like I said, the O211 range, if you look at my previous reviews, one of the things that I would have criticised is the harsh sound and the hardness of the face, if you like, that's the way I'd describe it. They've really overcome that issue, if it was an issue, but it was for me, and they've produced a totally different feel in this O211 lineup. All right? I say it's right the way through from hybrid through to driver it's much softer off the face don't get me wrong it still sounds explosive it still feels like that ball's going out there which is what you want but it's just dampened down a bit and it feels less hard off the face and like i said um it was an issue for me so they've done they look superb feel superb the performance has been really really good i'm not going to say any more than that because i haven't got dry ball data to back up what i'm saying but when i'm seeing where these golf balls are finishing it's where i'd expect them to be they're carrying the kind of distances that i would expect so at the moment they're ticking so many boxes and that's an issue it really is and i think that's part of the big problem for pxg Ah, oh, do you know what? I think that's the shot to finish things on. That's a five wood off a relatively tight lie. It's popped it a few hundred yards down the fairway again. What I'd expect in terms of distance, great ball flight, like, picks it up nice. The thing I particularly like about the fairway woods is their shaping and profile. I mentioned it earlier on, they just sit really tight and uh, sort of flat, very shallow profile. For me, that just, I don't know, it just makes me feel like I'm going to pick the ball up. I just don't like a big, more clumbersome style high face uh, when I'm taking it off the fair, but that's just me personally. So the big problem, well, the big problem is the money element because these, I've already said, do everything extremely well. I've already said they're possibly the best looking lineup in terms of the woods that I've seen from PXG so far. Now the compromise with these is you don't get the adjustability that you'll see in a top end of Gen 5. And that's a big compromise, don't get me wrong, huge compromise for many. But that is the big compromise because everything else in terms of off the shelf performance you're probably getting within these clubs. They've already said PXG that the materials, the premium materials that they're using in their high end Gen 5 are the same materials that they're using in this 0 to 11 range. So there's no compromises there. It doesn't look any cheaper in terms of a budget lineup, none whatsoever. In fact, it looks really premium. So the problem they've got is this, the Gen 4 driver right now is £209 in the UK. The launch price that I have in this is in dollars at 299 So you've got a Gen 4 driver at 209 and then you've got, which was the premium lineup, just one year old, and then you've got the 0 to 11 which is their, let's call it their budget range, at 299 You've then got, would you believe, last year's 0 to 11 priced at £129 right now, and I think it's $109 in the US, which I don't get whatsoever. I mean, that's got to be the best value driver on the market right now. It's ridiculous. So the key is, and the problem they've got, is how do they sell these at launch date in big numbers? Because it's hugely competitive, but you also know with PXG right now that if you bide your time, if you're prepared to wait, then there's significant deals that they put on at certain times during the year, which mean you can grab a real proper bargain. And I mean, not just a few quid, you know, Gen 4 driver at 209 and last year's 0211 at 129 or $109. That's that's like nothing I've ever seen before in this industry. And that's why I said to you about PXG, you really do not know what they're going to do next. And that's why I love what they do. They bring a relative amount of excitement to what is a relatively dull genre at times. And they do things quite differently and very much in their own way. I'm done. It's a thumbs up, massive. I, like I've, I think you've probably got that already. What I'm going to do is from this, uh, this is my first look. I got these yesterday. Uh, I'll collect dry ball data. We'll do some driver head to heads, that kind of thing, and just see if it's performing as good as it seems. But I would suggest that it's doing everything that any other driver is doing out there right now. So anyway, good luck. Let me know your comments down below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all soon.